Good morning. This this is May the seventeenth, Friday, two thousand twenty-four, and we are in BBA second semester section B compulsory English class, where we completed reading Priscilla Long's essay on happiness in the previous class. And you were assigned to read the next essay, uh, which is uh, related to the theme of intercultural communication. As I as I talk to you, as I am talking to you, I can see many of you are not listening to a teacher. You are talking among yourselves. That's not a decent behavior. At this level, at least, right? Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to scold you. I don't think I'm supposed to remind you to read. Okay? So, I said, we are starting a new essay. That is, the introduction of a book. I downloaded the book yesterday. And I'm going through it. It's an interesting book. So, <clears throat> the topic is... intercultural communication. So there are three words here. Culture, inter-communication. So inter means between or among. Inter means between or among. If I say inter-class, so between classes. So when we say intercultural, we mean between cultures or among cultures. Now what is communication? Right now I'm communicating to you. And this is an example of academic communication because we are in a university setting in a college classroom. And what I'm doing, I'm speaking. And I'm speaking and I'm conveying ideas or messages to an audience. My students are listening. So this is an example of communication. Now, sometimes you say, Divakar sir, you try to explain us something and we didn't get it. If that happens, then communication has failed in a sense. If I teach you and you fail to understand, I was not able to communicate properly. I'll share an incident yesterday. What is communication? This is a very true incident. I'm sorry if somebody feels offended watching my video. Yesterday I went to my university around 12 o'clock and after uh, attendance, I walked in the common room. And as I walked in the common room, there were four teachers, uh, three teachers sitting on one side, one teacher on the other side. And as I walked in, I greeted them. One of them responded, and I felt that the other three did not respond. That was my impression. And then I sat down on the chair facing the three teachers. And what I found instantly that the moment I got in the room, all the four teachers stopped talking. Abruptly, they maintained silence. And they began to look at each other's face. And this was quite awkward for me. It was awkward. And then I said, They didn't respond. They didn't say anything. Then I said, Then they felt bad because I said so, I spoke so harshly. Right? Then they didn't respond. They, they became silent and their faces went red in a sense. Then I said, Ma bitra hai, greet gare, tabal respond pini gornu bhaana. Maale gornu bhaio, tabal respond gornu bhaana, jappe bolna bandha gornu bhaana, mukha mukha gornu bhaio. And maale ta akwaad bhaan ta, aftara bhaan ta. Yo, behavior ta maale aftara laayo. 
अनि मलाई के लाग्यो भने मेरै कुरा गरेर बस्नु भएको थियो झ्याप्पमा आएपछि अड भयो तपाईँलाई भने मलाई इम्प्रेसन पर्यो आई सेड सो देन दे फेल्ट भेरी ब्याड वन अफ देम सेट दिभाग सर यू अलवेज टेक थिङ्स नेगेटिभली यू सेट यू आर भेरी नेगेटिभ पर्सन देन अनादर गाय क्लेरिफाइड दैट वी वर एक्चुअली टकिङ अबाउट वाटर ट्याङ्कर सर वाटर सप्लाई नट अबाउट यू आई गेभ यू एन एक्जाम्पल फ्रम माइ पर्सनल लाइफ अबाउट communication and in this example i gave you this is an example of non verbal communication when you all of a sudden stop talking when somebody gets in the room then the person coming in the room analyzes this in a way i analyze it to mean that they were doing my back biting that's why they stop otherwise why would they stop they will continue talking see how how we we human beings interpret communication and they clarified that i was wrong right so there was misunderstanding there was misunderstanding so i gave you a very fresh example real example of misunderstanding from my workplace where both parties belong to same culture nepali culture right and this is an example of communication so i who was getting the room i misinterpreted the non verbal cue what was the non verbal cue silence silence is a non verbal cue when you maintain silence you say you are saying something remember many times we say a lot we say more by not speaking we might be saying more by not speaking than by speaking so when they didn't speak i thought they hated me when they did not speak i thought they saw me as the other when they did not speak i thought they were saying something against me whereas as they say this was not the reality but i gave an example of this thing to you to understand that many times communication has such situation and there is there was miscommunication there was miscommunication and what i what i'm trying to tell you in future you might be working in a multinational company or you might be working in an organization where you have one employee coming from madhesh another employee coming from the high hills sherpa you may have another employee coming from the far west you may have another employee coming from thakali group or rai group or any ethnic community so you will have different people from different cultures right and what is culture culture is the way we behave in public in a sense i'll say culture is the way we behave in public culture is how what we believe in what we not believe in culture is the totality of our social practices right we say nepali culture and we mean that all nepali people have common conceptions common behaviors common beliefs common values but what is right and wrong what is appropriate inappropriate that is what is culture and in future if you go to foreign countries for example to study or for job you will be in a classroom where somebody will be indonesian somebody will be japanese somebody will be chinese somebody will be korean somebody will be african right in such a situation when you talk to them there can be culture there can be communication miscommunication there can be communication failure there can be communication failure therefore it's important to understand what is communication and what is culture and what is intercultural communication and how it all functions so communication is basically transfer of messages conveying messages communication is conveying messages right even by the road side you see road signs traffic signs they are communicating you something right okay so intercultural so the, the topic of this text now we are going to read is intercultural communication and i said there are three words inter culture communication and in this essay which is highly academic essay research uh, kind of not exactly research essay but it is the introduction of a book <coughs> you will find lot of terminology and if you are wise student 
you should make a list of the terms you encounter as we read and you should write the definitions okay so <clears throat> what do you see how how is this essay written you will see that in academic writing first writers introduce their topic writers introduce their topic for example here the topic look here a model of intercultural communication competence so 1 2 3 4 there are four terms and as students you should make sure that as you read the essay you understand the meaning of these words what is a model a model can be an let's say an abstract representation of something concrete for example uh, we have this yale building and we may sketch its structure on a paper that becomes a model you have toy cars as a model model is i'll say something that resembles something else and represents that real object right there can be a model of classroom structure for example so in 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 literature also you will see lots of chances where you you get this word model okay for example below also a, a, a diagram that shows the model then you have the word intercultural i explained to you then you have the word communication i explained to you then here is the word competence which i have not explained we'll talk about in a while so how does the paragraph start look here so okay now you can see the whole paragraph right on the screen you can see the complete paragraph so this this is the opening paragraph and what does it do uh it has two things it has an idea and it has some details now where is the idea the idea is in the first sentence in this paragraph what is the first sentence the first sentence is the world we live in is shrinking so how does the writer begin the world we live in this is the topic or the paragraph is shrinking this is the controlling idea this is the controlling idea okay this is the topic the world we live in and this is the controlling idea and together both of them together we call this as topic sentence of the paragraph now what is the rest of the thing i wish i could i wish this was erasable uh, board and i could <laughs> draw and erase now from here to uh, here up to here up to here these contracts up to here these are these are called as details to support the main idea now look as i explain these intricate things in writing i can see i feel like you're making noise you're not paying attention because when i am explaining something quite seriously i expect similar serious attention and when i find that you start talking i i get quite uneasy and it becomes difficult for me to continue and i scold you you might feel bad right so please if i'm explaining something seriously uh, i request you sincerely to listen to me seriously okay so i said the paragraph has a topic sentence the topic sentence has a topic it has a controlling idea and there are details to support the idea now these details look what is the idea the world is shrinking 
the idea is the world is shrinking. Uh, shrinking means it is becoming smaller and smaller. It is coming closer and closer, right? Now you will see that the what is controlling idea? Why do we call it controlling idea? Two words: controlling idea. It is the idea which controls what you write and what you don't write. That means in this paragraph, you will not write anything that says the world is expanding. Because your controlling idea is the world is shrinking. See what is writing. I am also teaching you academic writing while teaching this research, this essay. What is controlling idea? An idea that controls what you write and what you don't write. If you begin a paragraph, our English teacher is conservative. Then you will write nothing that shows I'm modern, because that will be a contradiction. So here you are starting with the idea that the world is shrinking. The world is shrinking. So you will not write anything in this paragraph which shows that the world is expanding, because the idea of shrinking and expanding are contradictory. And in a paragraph, you should not contradict the main idea. You should not contradict the controlling idea. For example, let me show you. Now I'll show you how the paragraph supports this idea of shrinking world. See the first sentence: travel that once took months now takes hours. See, see the idea of shrinking. For example, the controlling idea here is that the world is shrinking. Now, first example: one month has reduced to one hour. So, does this idea support this idea or oppose this idea? Does this example? Support the idea of world shrinking or oppose the idea. The idea is world is shrinking. The example is travel took one month in the past. Now it takes just one hour. Now this example is supporting the idea that the world is shrinking, or is it opposing this idea? It is supporting. That's why we call this idea as. That is why we call this idea as. What do we call it? Supporting details. What do we call it? Otherwise, we would call it opposing details. Details are never opposing. In a piece of writing, details are never opposing. Details are always supporting. Now, second example. Business dealings that were once confined primarily to local economies have given way to an extensively integrated world economy. Okay, local economy, world economy, business. Look, previously. Business was limited to local economy. Now business encompasses the world economy. The whole world, the whole world has come in local business. The world has been covered by local business. You do online business, and you can uh, import from any country. Now you can export to any country. So second example. Do you see? The second example also shows that. Previously, business covered only local things. Now, business covers the global things. So, the whole globe has come in business. The whole globe has come in business. Again, it supports the idea that the world is shrinking. The world business is shrinking. The world business is. Shrinking. तब यहाँ बस शरो अली बाबा में क्लिक कर रहा और अगर शक्ति से नहीं चाइने पड़ा ऑनलाइन पे कर तब जानू पढ़ रहे नहीं shrinking हुआ ना 
right? Now, next example. Information, I'm doing two things here. At, on one side, I'm explaining the essay. On the other side, I'm also explaining you how this is written and how we are reading it. Next, information that once traveled through error-prone and time-consuming methods now appears in the blink of an eye across a wide range of media. Now, two third. Information was time consuming previously and now information appears at the blink of an eye. So what does it do? Does it prove that the world is shrinking or does it show that the world is expanding? The third example also shows that the world is shrinking. Previously, if I ordered a book, I have to send money, it will come by post office and it will take two months, three months. Now I can buy e-book, I can pay online and they will just mail me the book, e electronic form and I can download within 10 minutes. If I have credit card, international dollar card, I can pay by the dollar card online to buy a book and they can mail me a soft copy within minutes. So again, third example also shows, what is, what is saying? The world is shrinking. Move ahead. People in virtually all locations of the globe are more mobile than ever and more likely to traverse into cultures different from their own. Now, look, here it talked about media. Now they talk about people. And what do they say? They are more mobile and they go to more cultures. Look, Nepalese people. 50 years ago, Nepalese mostly went to India only. But now, Nepalese go to almost every country around the world. Right? So what does it show? The world is shrinking or the world is expanding? I get by the Okay. Let me close the door. I told you, when I explain things seriously, I expect you to listen to me seriously. But I see that this is not possible. Okay. So people are more mobile and they are, continuing, they are going to many countries. Now next example. Say next example. Literally and figuratively, the walls that separate us are tumbling. What does it mean? Walls tumbling means now you can walk in any gully in any country using Google Earth, for example. You can have a street view of any place in the world. Can't you? So by staying in your room, by staying inside your room, you can visit any place digitally. And you can see what is going on there. For example, there is a live camera that shows Mount Everest, I heard. Somewhere they have placed a camera. Somewhere in Nepal. That shows Mount Everest live. And anybody from around the world can watch Mount Everest live. In the same way, you can watch this place from any location. Now, physical walls have tumbled down. Because of digital technology, right? Then read ahead. Though we may not have fully become a global village, there is no denying that various cultures of the world are far more accessible than ever before. Now, finally she says, or they say, 
कल्चर्स आर मोर एक्सेसिबल नाउ इफ यू गो टू बसंतपुर और एनी प्लेस इन कठमांडू चांसेस आर विद इन हाफ एन आवर यू विल सी पीपल फ्रॉम फाइव सिक्स सेवन कंट्रीज देयर देर माइट बी एन इटालियन देर माइट बी ए जैपनीज देर माइट बी ए चाइनीज देर माइट बी एन अमेरिकन देर माइट बी ए ब्रिटिशर देर माइट बी एन ऑस्ट्रेलियन राइट सो वॉट इज इट सो पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कल्चर्स आर कमिंग टूगेदर पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कल्चर्स आर कमिंग टूगेदर सो डू यू सी दिस पैराग्राफ वॉट इज दिस पैराफ डूइंग दिस पैराग्राफ is structured like this this paragraph is talking about cultural communication and first it says broad things and it narrows down and by the time you reach here it says that now we have global village now we have become now the world has become global village see the narrowing down this our writing is done you begin with general talk about communication and culture and in narrow down so by the time we come here this sentence though we may not have fully become a global village there is no denying that the various cultures of the world are far more accessible than ever before and that the peoples of these cultures are coming into contact and ever at an ever increasing rate now what is say there is more intercultural contact look here look this 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 map what more cultural contact more cultural contact read ahead these contracts now see this word these contracts this word is known as these contacts this is called this is called continuous idea marker what do we call it what do we call it continuous idea marker so when we say these contacts it refers the whole paragraph these contacts means the whole paragraph these contacts ultimately comprise interpersonal encounters now see the next word after this they bring the word inter personal encounter what is interpersonal encounter one person meeting another person one person meeting another person and chances are the another person will be another culture so person from one culture meeting a person from another culture okay these contacts ultimately comprise interpersonal encounters whether it is the negotiation of an arms treaty now example now why do people have interpersonal encounter example 1 negotiation for arms deal for example business an american may come to nepal to sell guns for example an italian can come to nepal to sell shoes for example so what do you see here more and more people are coming together for business more and more people are coming together for business business takes people around the world business takes people around the world and you had a very good example of intercultural communication in the first story shoe dog by phil knight where phil knight goes to honolulu hawaii island sells encyclopedia there fails to sell it quits honolulu flies to japan goes to tokyo goes around the city for few days then meets people at onitsuka shoe company has interaction with them starts business 
That's an example of intercultural communication. And if you want to know what difficulties people have, read that section in the story. And you will see that Phil Knight had many difficulties in Tokyo. Because Phil Knight was American and he had Japanese people in Tokyo to talk to. Right? Okay. So we say people go from country to country for business. What brings people of different culture together? One answer is business. What might bring people of different cultures together? Business. Or even tourism. For example, you, have, you may have a lot of money and you like to travel, you go to Brazil. Not for business, but to, for pass to spend holidays. Right? Okay, move ahead. Whether it is the negotiation of an arms treaty or the settlement of a business contract, or merely a sojourner getting directions from a native cultures do not interact people do now last sentence see the last sentence cultures do not interact people interact so let me just erase and once more quickly show you how this paragraph is composed and how it conveys its message. So let's draw an inverted pyramid. This is called inverted pyramid. What do we call it? Inverted pyramid. And let's count the sentences. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are all together nine sentences. In this paragraph, there are how many sentences? Nine. And you will see that the first sentence talks about travel. Right? Then second sentence talks about business. Then third sentence talks about information. Then fourth sentence talks about people then fifth sentence talks about cultural walls then sixth sentence talks about global village then seventh sentence talks about interpersonal encounters then eighth sentence talks about okay examples of business Communication. Huh? Yeah, first is topic. <coughs> I didn't count the first. I didn't count the first. Maybe. And then the last sentence says that. Last sentence says that. Cultures. Just a minute. Do not interact. People interact. So do you see the first sentence is world we live in is 
shrinking. Pay attention. The main idea of this paragraph is the world we live in is shrinking. And the last sentence is more people are coming together. First sentence, the world we live in is shrinking. Last sentence, more people are coming together and having interaction. So do you see the last sentence says the same thing as first sentence. The last sentence proves the first sentence. How is the world shrinking? Because more and more people are interacting. Right? And then you will see that why I am drawing this, this inverted pyramid to show you that paragraphs have, particularly introductory paragraphs, they have a general opening. Paragraphs open by saying something general about the topic. Then, they narrow down. Then they narrow down. This, and this diagram shows the narrowing. They have general opening. They talk about general travel, general business, general media, general people, cultural differences disappearing. Then they narrow down. They say the world has become a village. Then they talk about even narrow down. They say people are having interpersonal encounter. Then they give example. And finally they say that more and more people are having interactions. And now in the next paragraph, they will gradually show the implications of such interpersonal encounters and they will show us that when more and more people from different cultures have encounters, this has communication challenges. This has communication challenges. Right? Can I erase it? Now, one thing, one way to read such writings or any piece of writing is a technique. You read the paragraph and after you finish reading this paragraph, you develop one question which this paragraph answers. So now I give you one minute time. Take your pen and in your copy, in your copy, write that question which you think this paragraph answers. Once again, develop a question to which this paragraph can be a very good answer. Did you get my point? Yes, sir. This paragraph is the answer. We don't have the question. And we want you to develop the question. Kyo question banaunus, just go like your para best answer on a saksha. Go on. Go on, sir. Do it. Develop the question which this paragraph answers. This paragraph is the answer. Now, what can be the question? So, in the exam, you answer the question of the question of the If you want your student, if you want your student to write this answer, what question will you give them? Now, write the question. It's quite challenging, I know. If you can do this, you understand the paragraph. If, see, if you can develop the right question, you have understood the paragraph. Got it? Got the question? Okay, write in your copy. Okay, let me read out. This one? Okay. Okay. Can I read your question? Show me your questions you have done. Same. You can't copy his questions. No, you. I, I told him. Oh, he copied your yes. questions. Oh, that's not a fair. That's not fair. I want, I want creative answers. I want answers that come from your mind. 
Okay. Can I see your answers? Okay. Can I see yours? Through interaction. Good. Okay. 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 Uh, this is a better question. This is a better question. Okay, good. A good question. A good question. I guess that's a good question. Have you got the question? So this is the answer. I'm a student. You're studying questions. What question will you ask me to get this answer? How can you explain that in today's world, intercultural communication is helping in interaction? Uh, uh, I guess like this question does not focus the paragraph. I, it seems like you, you can give a try. Okay, okay. So, see. Uh, <coughs> when I say develop a question, so what you can do is you can take the main idea sentence. It says the world is the world we live in is shrinking. The main idea says the world we live in is shrinking. Just say. Do you think or, or just say how is the world we live in today is shrinking? Give examples. How is the world that we live in today is shrinking? Question mark. Give examples. Now, as an answer, here are the examples. Because this paragraph supplies six, seven, eight examples to prove the idea that the world is coming together. So the question is, how is the world shrinking today? Give some examples. And this will be the answer. Now tomorrow, now tomorrow, you have a job. What job? For each of the paragraphs in this essay, you develop a question, which you think the paragraph answers. What is the assignment? In your book, tomorrow your books will have questions below each paragraph written minutely. Kitab mein, copy mein lekhne hoi na. Yo essay ko bich bich ma, paragraph ko side ma, margin ma, paragraph numbering gardhe janus, one, two, three. Pahila, paragraph la numbering gardhe Para one, two, three, four, five mahara. Ani paragraph one le numbering gardhe janus, side ma saanu pencil le ke le question lekhne us. Ab yo gardhe na, taban nobody gardhe na saknun na. Nobody gardhe na saknun. यदि तपाईले बुझ्नु भयो भने क्वेशन बनाउन सक्नुहुन्छ बुझ्नु भएन भने सक्नुहुन्न क्वेशन बनाउन सक्नु भने के बुझ्नु हो क्वेशन बनाउन नसक्नु भनेको आइदर नपढेको हो या पढेर नबुझेको हो थ्यांक यू